So another way that we can tell proper dry matter intake on these cattle is by looking at the degree of gut fill. And that's really quite simple. What we want to do is we want to pay attention to the paunch area high up on the left-hand side of the animal. So cattle have 13 ribs on each side, 26 ribs altogether. And the reason we look at the left side is because the rumen is always located, oriented in the body towards the left and up towards the top of that paunch area. So that's why we specifically look there. So we'll look at the triangular area between the 13th rib on the left-hand side, the transverse processes of the spine, that's the part of the spinal cord or the vertebrae actually that stick out horizontally, and the front of the pelvic structure or what we call the hooks, okay? So we look at that triangular paunch area there high up on the left-hand side. If it's very concave or sunken in, then that's indicative that the cattle are not getting appropriate dry matter intake in their daily diet. However, if we see that area filled in well, and at times even pushed out, then that tell, tells us that we're doing a very good job of allowing those cattle to be able to take in enough dry matter on their daily graze to meet their daily nutritional needs. As you look across these cattle, you know, they've, they're not sunk in there, no, you know. Right. If we come back in an hour, they'll be rounded. Exactly. So, so this is their first move of the day, right? Right. So already, just in their first move of the day, just from what they consumed yesterday, right. they already have really good gut feel. So we know, you know you're getting excellent dry matter intake and, and you're giving them enough. But then secondly, like you said, after about an hour or so in tanking up in this new paddock, you know, that's actually going to be pressed out a little bit. Yeah. Instead of being concave, it's going to be a little convex on Try these cattle. to move them when they, before they ever get hollowed out. We, we want to keep fill all the time. And, and it's a great point. And why is that? Well, it just evens everything out. It's a, yeah. it's, it, it keeps them from getting too hungry and it, keep, it keeps the, the gains going consistently. It keeps them from eating more than they should. Exactly. The old, the old paddock. We're yeah. keeping them on a steady plane of nutrition, aren't right. we? And instead of, you know, yo-yoing up and down on that plane of nutrition, you're keeping them on a solid, steady plane. And the other thing I want to point out, you look at the, the red cow here and the black cow right behind her, Look at the oily sheen on their hair coats. You know, that is an indicator that they're slicked off, first of all, extremely well, right? Mm -hmm. And that oily sheen is an indicator that they are functioning optimally. So the endocrine system is working extremely well. And when all of that is working and, and you're keeping them on a steady plane of nutrition, then they're breed back. Right is going to be really good. Whole body is working right. Now, just so that everybody knows, what are you supplementing the, them with out here? <laughs> they get a mineral mix, and that's it. So just mineral? No, just mineral. Just supplement a mineral. Yes. You got water. Yes. And what and they're eating what, here. What, what we grow. So you're not caking the cattle. No. You don't have any feed troughs hidden out here anywhere, no. right? No. Okay, so just on what they're getting, they're eating out here in supplemental mineral, then what do you expect your breed back to be? What percent pregnancy? Well, going, going on last year, the, the mature cows, which these are yearling and two-year-olds, uh, the yearlings last year were at 92%, the two-year-olds were at 88%, and the mature cow herd was at 95%. And you didn't have to do any supplemental feeding? None, and that was in To achieve days. those? And that was in 42 days. In 42 days? with no supplemental feeding, no supplemental feeding. only on what they were provided on the grazing. That's nice. phenomenal. This cow has a, a young calf by side. She's at peak lactation, but yet she's in excellent body condition score. This cow's in a body condition score six at this point in time with zero supplement, nothing but mineral and what she is eating out here. No feed supplement or baleage or anything like that provided to her. So she has to make it on these forages that she's consuming in mid-July in the heat of Missouri and breed, 
raise her calf and breed back. 